And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Fizz. Played this deck about nine days ago. We went 5-0. It was really fun to play. Uh, it was fun playing a Fizz deck again and um, things went well for us. Really close games. We were able to pull out a lot of wins. Hopefully it'll be the same kind of story today. So far today we haven't had the best of luck with our other games, but we're going to be heading over to Bilgewater for our last two decks with Draven Fizz and then a Twisted Fate Sejuani deck after this. Um, but yeah, our, our deck's just going to be a, you know aggressive. We're going to be Noxus. We have um, not all elusive cards because we're going to have some other good Noxus cards like Precious Pet, Legion Grenadier, Draven, Iron Ballista. But we also do have a good amount of elusives um, with Fizz, Golden Narwhal. And then Zap Sprayfin and Slippery Wave Rider. So kind of combining those two together... Um, you know, maybe get some good early damage in with the Noxus cards and then finish up with the elusives in the late game and try to burn them out. So that's what our deck's all about. We got some good pump spells because the Brothers Bond, Elixir of Wrath, those are cards that can protect Fizz. You know, not only level up Fizz, but then also you need you need cheap spells to be able to protect Fizz. And that's all that's another thing that Draven does. It gives us that spinning axe, so zero mana spell that can protect Fizz. Alright, so let's let's play our five games in ranked. And let's uh, try to get a three and two or better record. Let's try to get a good winning record again. Okay, we've got an aggro mirror. This is kind of proving my point though of like whatever region you play, you play against decks of the same region. Sprayfin's just a little slow. I need something to do turn one, turn two, but Sprayfin is awesome. It's difficult mulliganing, mulliganing away Sprayfin because it's such a good card. Okay, well, this didn't go very well. Um, but, you know, our, our last deck was the Shadow Isles deck, and we kept on playing against, like, Shadow Isles Fearsome. And now we head on over to Noxus Bilgewater and play against Noxus Bilgewater. We'll trade two mana cards. Time for the main event. Got axes, need victims. So the main question is gonna be is if I block or not. damage to do but I can try coming right up. let's see what they got don't get ahead of yourself okay so this is them taking six damage right now going down to 11. So I want to split these up. I'm going to be playing Elixir, Elixir, Brothers Bond. But I'm, I need to split them up because, uh, let's see. So like Nocturne Fervor on their side would be what I'd be worried about. Okay, so let's go Elixir here. Brothers Bond here, here. So I'm going down to four. Going down to three. And that's what I was worried about. Could have used the Nocturne Fervor and dealt three damage to them, but oh no, a parlay! Ouch! 
I wanted to set up fervor for you know I wanted to set up both of these fervors with you know draw a unit get the two fervors. Go with the flow. This game. Good fervor. Force them to have noxion fervor. If they didn't have noxion fervor, we probably would have just won that. So. Yep. Play against another Noxus deck. They just have too much removal for Fizz, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to mulligan Fizz. I like Fervor. I'm going to keep Fervor. I think the Fervor could be good in this matchup. It kills both of their champions. It's good to respond to like one of their spells that they target with Ezreal. I don't know. I'm going to try keeping the Fervor. Mafia Plot's donation deck was a Ash Harrowing deck. Zombie Ash. So we'll play that in the coming days. Coming in hot. Victory at any cost. So now I do have protection for Fizz. Alright, no attune value. Definitely thinking about just passing and having them waste the 5 mana. But, you know, we are an aggro deck, so we should probably get the 4 damage in, but... I don't know. Yeah, we should probably get the 4 damage in. I got ways to find in mushrooms. That's 10 cards. You're gonna have to play something. That's easy enough to, to cast. I don't know, I thought Brother's Bond was just a little vulnerable. Let's do this. Still got toot. Still keeping two protection spells available for the fizz. If I want the brothers bond, I'd only have just the one protection spell. We're gonna fairly easily be able to kill them this next turn anyway. So maybe not. Only played the one spell, right? Yeah. Not close to leveling that up. Well, I'm considering killing Draven. They're not going to have one mana deal multiple damage to kill Fizz, I wouldn't think. But let's see, next turn, so we're going to have seven. If I, if I play this, we'd have seven. We go Spray Fin, we still have eight. No, it wouldn't be crazy just to bank. It wouldn't be crazy at all. Right now I'm looking at having four mana. Like, I play Sprayfin and I have four mana. So that's, again, two protection spells. But then I guess if I need to proactively play one spell. Okay, cool. So I can have three spells now with Sprayfin, two spells with Wave Rider. So I'll lead with Brother's Bond. So 
they're gonna have to do something. It's possible I could maybe have like just you know twelve on the fizz, but you know we'll make them waste some mana first. But that elixir of wrath was definitely the card that I was hoping to draw. That was the perfect draw. I was hoping to either draw it with the draw step or with the spray fin. Okay, so that puts them to two, so I can just go with another give plus three plus zero. So now they have to use another removal spell. So they have like two mystic shots they, they can get me. I could have just waited and just passed the turn and had an auction fervor. That would have been a lot safer. Oh, are they going to have two mystic? Let's see. So they already played one mystic shot. All right, maybe I just let the damage happen. I guess I have to just let the damage happen and then Noxion Fervor my Fizz and have double backup, double protection. Cool. Didn't play Thermogenic Beam, I'm glad. And also after casting these, so they have to like use removal spell on Fizz, and then I Elixir Wrath to counter it. Use another removal spell, I Brothers Bond and counter it. And then they have, to, and then that levels up the Fizz. So then they have to, after that, be able to do it, have a three damage burn spell to kill the Fizz. <laughs> Same matchup. Oh yeah, whatever region you play, you get paired against somebody else in the same region. So it definitely feels like. Like Wave Rider's not bad. It's, it's a it's big, it's hard to kill, it's elusive. I already have two drop and three drop. I think this should work to be able to kill the Draven. Should. You suck. Cool. My Golden Narwhal is probably not long for this world. <laughs> yep. But it did its job. So we both have four cards left, but then they also have a Spiraling and two Spinning Axes. Pick a card. So we'll see if these wave riders aren't really getting it done. We can put back like the decimate and draw three. So turn seven, we'll be drawing three. It's Draven time. Draven's good. Let's do this. Seem too fair that they get two Dravens and I get zero. That doesn't seem too fair. I'm gonna attack right now before they thermogenic beam one of these. Pick a card so much better on my offensive turn. Like, I'd rather draw the cards before I'm about to attack. Because uh, of cards, you know, all the Brothers Bonds and Elixir of Wraths and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to draw those on my opponent's Axis. attack step right turn. Up. Just take this and take eight. I'm just going to take eight. Not let them do any, any of the Spinning Axe stuff. Say 
say no to Fizz. So I did that pick a card first, be able to get the attune mana. I thought you'd never ask. So it looks like they have a ton of stuff over here, but they only have four cards that aren't like these other things that don't do anything. Alright, let's see what we get for four cards. Man, they're... That was a great three cards, though. Elusive Blocker and two removal spells. So if they're only going to have a couple of cards, that is exactly what they need. Okay, we got a Transfusion. That was our best card that we got. It's Draven time. Well, hey there, good-looking... I think so. It's either you see the decimate this turn or play Iron Ballista. Let's do this. Now we're cooking. Oh, come on, come on. You're between me and glory. They don't have removal for this Slippery Wave Rider, do they? I hope not. That's them taking seven, going to four. I don't think they have any Nexus healing. So they take seven, go to four. And we have Decimate. So I think we'll have this. Cool. Shouldn't have any healing. Got elusive. All right, GGS. That wave rider too slippery. Damn, I'm good. Okay, we got a different region set here. We got the anti-aggro combination with our wither withering whales and avalanches and vile feasts and all that kind of stuff. Now, Precious Pet does die to all that kind of stuff, but it's a one drop. We have the attack token turn one. Let's do it. This pick a card could be pretty cool with uh, pick a card with the spinning axe. That could be pretty cool. Not exactly sure when we want to. The trap is set. Got axes, need victims. Tread carefully. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. You suck. Yeah, that's pretty good. See, not not exactly sure when I want to cast this pick a card. See far and clear. I don't think it's yet. What did we catch? Through the coral. All right, down to twelve. Back to fifteen. Very good hand for them. Go, elusives, go. King of trolls coming through. Mm. I have the best job. I'm through waiting. We we'll do 15 damage to them next turn, probably. For the homestead. Hey, buddy, what you doing? That's kind of my plan.
So that's my plan. You know, double brothers bond, all these spinning axes. And try to kill them. Where are we at? Two out of six? Do they have Withering Wheel? Ah, harsh winds. Harsh winds annoying. Four. Out of three. Three is a good spot to be. Sweet. Should be game. Wow, this Dragon Fizz deck is sweet. They had all that defense and, and died there on that turn eight. It's crazy. Turn seven, I guess. That was turn seven, actually. All right, so the Invoke deck plays great defense on the ground. So that means we want Elusives. So let's mulligan this Ballista. Precious Pet's not an Elusive, but it is a one-drop, so I'm just going to keep it. Let's mulligan this Elixir of Wrath. Is the one true light. Yeah, like, we'll be able to sneak in two damage here. And then trade with the Solari Soldier after that. Really need the non elusive. The dawn has arrived. Boo. Bask in the light's radiance. Let's do this. All right, sixteen. Clad in shining sunlight. I am the bulwark. So planning on using Noxion fervor. And Noxion Fervor, my Golden Narwhal, they, you know, they're going to challenge the Narwhal. Um, so I would have liked to do that before Slippery Wave Rider, but then, you know, so I get the Attune value. Let's see. Yeah, that couldn't matter. But then, then they do get to attack with this 3-2. Then otherwise, like, if I play the Slippery Wave Rider, we kind of save ourselves 3 life. Yeah, I don't need that 3 life. Answer to me. Light. Stand and fight. So we're down to seven. So I can go all in and try to kill them. They would basically need star shaping or guiding touch. Yeah, I don't I don't really see the problem with that. I guess oh I guess they're a hush deck, aren't they? Let's try this. Ever vigilant. Gross. Forgot about Hush, just kind of in general. Hush is a great card against us. I'll play these Iron Ballistas for some blockers. Oh, come on. 
That's just like the perfect card because then it costs one less of the Mountain Scryer. That's that's great. That's great. Gotta go with the flow. All right, Noxion Fervor, please. Ugh. Down to one. I don't think they kill me from one. I don't think they kill me from one. I'm a little surprised more things weren't attacking, but I'm I'm glad. My shield. You cannot sway me. Okay, put him down to five. Put him to negative two. <clears throat> Alright, looks like we got him. Just one mana left. I don't think they can do anything else. Should be 20 damage. Exactly. GG's. Brothers Bond. Getting it done. Alright, four and one. We'll take that. Yeah, that was some that was some pump spells right there. What all did we have? So we had we had two Brothers Bonds and two Elixir of Wraths. Is that right? And the transfusion, of course. Do we have two Elixir of Wraths? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so yeah, we, we did, uh, so yes, so we added 16 damage with those, because then, because originally all it was, was, um, you know, the Zap Spray Fin being two power getting through, so that'd be 18, and then we had, uh, two Overwhelm damage getting through with one of the, uh, one of the, um, Iron Ballistas on a 3-2. So originally we were only going to do four damage to them, and they played two... So we we're gonna do four damage. They played two star shapings to go up to nineteen, and we still had enough pump spells to kill them from from nineteen. And we our original attack had four damage. <laughs> That's crazy. Sixteen pump spell damage. Well, there we go. That's why I like Sprayfin in here. Just you know, getting like these these different pump spells and everything. It's a lot of damage. Um. Yeah, that was a good that was a good Jinx emote from my opponent. That's good. So there we go. There's Draven Fizz. It's a fun one to play, fast deck to play. Uh, you know, get your elusives and pump spells, and it's a it's pretty effective, as we saw there with those games. Um, you're gonna play close ones like these. These weren't you know they were close games a lot of them, but you know hopefully you have enough tools to finish it out, as we did in most of those games. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you've been playing Draven Fizz, let me know how it's going for you. You know, we went 5-0 last time, got a good 4-1 again this time. Um, so uh, Fizz, you know, Fizz is looking pretty strong. And so if you've been playing some Fizz yourself with this, um, yeah, I'd love, love to hear from you in the comments. And just any other comments. The comments really help out the video, so I really appreciate them. All right, but that's it here for Draven Fizz. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.